I just saw it pop up on Facebook and it was an immediate emotional decision to go and do it. And then afterwards I thought, what the hell have I done? I can't believe I've done this. Booked it straight away pretty much because it was, I thought it was going to be a once in a lifetime opportunity, and which obviously it is. And it took me about a day to decide that I was going. I couldn't put a price tag on it really. It's, it's an absolutely amazing experience. Travelling around the world is something I've, I've always dreamed about, especially when I was a kid, but now, now that I do it, uh, and I've done it for a long time, there are some places that I, I feel a kind of kindred spirit with, and Cuba has always been one of them. Because these people are a lot more rhythmically driven, so to speak, it, it's almost in their DNA. Even if they're not musicians, they totally get it. It is so different to anywhere else, and I think that the number of places that we've gone to and steeped in history and culture, it's been really, really interesting. We're here in Abdallah Studios where the Buena Vista Social Club was recorded, and uh, this is a beautiful and historic place. We got to record a couple tracks, and we actually gave a lesson to all the campers here, and uh, it's just been a wonderful experience today, as well as every other day that we've been here. Thank you. Buenos dias. It's, it's great to be here and uh, it, to feel part of, of what you're doing and uh, to, to learn from you and, and hopefully inspire you with some ideas today. It's one of the highest musical experiences for, for me, for guitar, uh, and just for music in general. And he's just such a generous person. He lifts you up to a higher level. A lot of fun, a lot of good knowledge and stuff. Tommy and Frank and Vinny, all real accessible. Easy to talk to guys. I struggle quite a bit with, with rhythm, especially when I'm performing and things. Um, and so he said to me, you, need, you just need to write breathe on the top of your guitar. Then he wrote breathe on the top of my guitar and then he signed the guitar as well. And it was just, it was a very overwhelming day. And it was just, it just felt so nice and natural as well. It wasn't like, it was just, yeah, it was superb. A place like this with him, and obviously you've got Frank and Vinny as well, and Pancho, obviously. I feel like a little kid at Christmas, really. When I first met Pancho, he went straight into my song, Pop Papa George. He'd already learned it and said uh, that that song is a cha-cha-cha. <laughs> he used a different dynamic with it as well, and, uh, and that, that, was, that was fascinating. It's bringing together Cuban musicians and American musicians, which has not happened that much in the past. So this to me is a monumental night, bringing our music to the people of Cuba. And I think that the only one who could pull this off is Tom. It means so much to me that I can come here and play a concert in a concert hall. This is laying the groundwork to come back and do more because I was amazed how many people had been watching my videos, but how many people knew my songs. No matter what you would say, it will never prepare you for what he can actually do. Like they say a picture paints a thousand words, well a video of Tommy paints a million. You know, any music uh, really translates across languages. And you know, and Tommy, you know, he's an entertainer and he puts a lot of feeling and work into everything he does. And you just appreciate that. It's not even a language thing that you need. It was important for me to come here and experience this and I want to come back. Coming here, it's just been so overwhelmingly amazing. It's just, you know, and it isn't just meeting Tommy or meeting Frankie and, and Vinny and the others, it's just 
it's the entire experience, but also all of the people here are all interested in the same thing. They've all got lots of things to share. So it is absolutely fantastic and it's just been the most amazing time. Yeah.